Casey Patey of TheInspiredOffice.com. Thanks for stopping by. Today's lesson on minimalism is a little lesson on what to do when you upgrade. So this is part of a series on videos about going minimal. I am a DC-based professional organizer focusing on offices, paper, going digital, going paperless. However, when I'm at home organizing, I don't really spend a lot of time on that. Personally, I'm always looking to lighten my load and get rid of things and really just only surround myself with the things I love and the things I need and the things that I really think are beautiful that, that have a story. So one thing I've noticed over the years is when I upgrade something, I get rid of the piece that I upgraded from. And today I have three lessons for you or three examples for you. So mind you, I'm not really having less because it's one thing out, one thing in, or one thing in, one thing out, however you wanna see it. But what I'm doing here prevents me from having sort of like a bottleneck backlog of things that I'm not using and not wearing. So the first of three examples is this, this infinity scarf. I am letting go of this infinity scarf today. I've had it for a number of years. Um, maybe it's been with me for five, six winters so far. It's, it's a great little piece. I've gotten some good wear out of it and I would reach for it maybe, maybe once every couple of weeks. However, I'm donating it because a very, very close friend of mine who's a very talented knitter made this one for me this winter. It's, it's wool, it's baby alpaca, I think. So it turned out as soon as she gave this to me, I was wearing an infinity scarf, this particular one, every single day. So now when I need an infinity scarf, I'm not gonna reach for this. This, is, this has had its day. And this is so much nicer, such higher quality, it's handmade. It has a great story to it. So the handmade infinity star scarf stays and the old one goes. I don't need to have you know this backlog of five infinity scarves a couple of years from now. The other piece I'm gonna let go of is this black scarf. Everybody needs a black scarf, right? We need a black scarf, we don't need five black scarves. So this is just kind of a nice basic, basic staple um, wool scarf that I've had for years, probably 10 years or more. However, this past winter I upgraded and bought this really nice cashmere scarf. So now if I need a black scarf, I will always, always reach for this one instead of this one here. So this goes, this definitely stays. It is my only, only black scarf and it's such a treat putting it on every time I wear it. The last example is my leather jacket. I am getting rid of this old black leather jacket. It's, it's a great staple. I've had it for probably 15 years and I never really loved it. I mean, it's, it's such a good basic jacket, but for whatever reason, I just, I never really wore it all that much. Um, it looks good. It is probably the cheapest leather jacket money can buy, but I couldn't get rid of it until I replaced it. So a few months ago, I treated myself to this gorgeous oxblood red leather jacket when I was up in New York. And it's, it's not as basic a staple as a black leather jacket, but if it's leather jacket season, I will only, only reach for this. It's just, it's so luscious and smells so good and I just love touching it. So I will only be a red leather jacket girl from now on. And the basic black, much, much cheaper one goes. Even though it's basic, even though it's actually in excellent condition, doesn't mean that I need to keep it forever because I will only, only wear this one. So I ask you, if you've made any upgrades recently, did you let go of the piece you were upgrading from? I hope so. But if not, look through your closet, look through your things, look through and pay attention to the pieces you really, really love and ask yourself, did I buy this as a replacement for something that I still have? So just be, be realistic. How many black scarves do you really need? I only need one, so I let go of my other one. Um, so please leave in the comments what you are able to get rid of today because you watched me get rid of my two scarves and my leather jacket. 
I'm really curious to know what's going out the door on your end. So again, this is Casey Patey of the InspiredOffice.com. If you like this, please watch the other videos I have on going minimal. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please visit the InspiredOffice.com for my blog posts. Every week I post many, many suggestions and ideas much like these here. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.